Hi YouTube, so today I am going to do a haul for you. This has been like long awaited and I have so, so much stuff to show you. So I am just going to get started. Um, I have a full bag full of Kat Von D um, goodies that I have from when I met her in London. But I am actually um, not going to show you them because I'm going to do a full face impression of Kat Von D. So um, I'm going to save that, but that should maybe be the next video, if not the video after that. So I'm just going to get started. I have a full bag of goodies um, and another one. So I'm just going to get started. Some I have tried, some I haven't. So um, it will be kind of just quickly running through them because some I have no opinions on whatsoever. First of all, I'm going to show you this brush set. Um, this brush set is from um, my drag bag. Or just drag bag, I think you call them. Um, it's a 15 piece brush set. I haven't used them yet, but I think I'm gonna use them when doing my full face face impressions of Kat Von D. Um, and kind of tell you about them then. They're gorgeous. If you look on my Instagram, which is Karen underscore cool, you can see um you can see a picture up close to these. So yeah, I am excited to use these. And of course, you get the lovely um wee leather bag with the pink interior. So I'm not going to talk much about each item as I said, I'm just going to kind of go through them quite fast so this isn't like mega mega long because this is like a haul that I've gathered from like quite a wee while so there's so much stuff um, like all my stuff from London and stuff. So I got from Soeva I got two brushes, they're the 227 Luxe Soft Definer and the 234 Luxe Smoky Shaver. I have these already, I love them and that's why I got more. I'm just gonna kind of grab anything. I'm not really doing this in brands or anything, which I probably should, but I'm just gonna do it randomly. Um, next I got the Kiko Flawless Fusion Bronzing Powder. I haven't used this yet. The packaging is gorgeous. Like, can you see how pretty that is? Um, it's quite a light bronzer, but I'm quite excited to use this. I really have been neglecting like my bronzer stockpile, so call it. Um, for a while so I'm kind of excited to um, try a few new bronzers out. I also got this shadow in the shade 36 from Kiko as well. Um, it's just this orangey shadow, like orange coral shadow. Um, I don't even think it's really showing the true colours, like brighter than this in real life. Um, but I think the packaging is so cute. I'm not really into single shadows much but I seen this colour and I was like might as well. Apparently it's really high pigment so it should be nice um, and I love my orange shadow so I thought I would try that. This next product which I actually have tried and um, I wanted to get it for a while but it was like £16 and it was kind of like oh uh, I don't know like do I really want to spend £16 on this in case it's rubbish so I ended up getting it when I was in London again in Selfridges I think um, and it is the Blotterazzi by the Beauty Blender. So there, it basically comes in this wee compact. It's got a mirror on one side and two of these like wee thin sponge things. And apparently you just dab them under your skin and it takes away the oil but leaves your makeup on. And I'm impressed so far. I used these three times now and I used them today before I done this because I have been doing makeups all day so it was a wee bit oily. Um, and yeah, I'm quite happy with it. So I'm excited to pop this into my handbag and use it on an everyday basis instead of constantly using um, blotting paper. So yeah, I'm quite excited to try that. Next, I got the Sigma Tapered Blending E40. Everybody rant and raves about this. It's a wee bit thinner than what I expected. I kind of wanted it to be a wee bit more fatter. But I think it'll be a really nice brush, blending brush. Um, so yeah, I got that. I got another, the, there it is. I got another Sigma brush, which is the F63 R Brush Blender. It's even smaller again, if you can see. I'll show you on my forehead. It's even smaller again. Um, but I think it'll be nice to kind of deepen up the outer corner and stuff like that. So I'll try it. I haven't really tried many Sigma uh, brushes before apart from the F80 which is the Kabuki um, foundation brush and I love it so I'm hoping these will be just as good. Um, more brushes that I got, I got the Kiko 200 eye brush, in fact I'll take this out really quickly because you can't really see it that well. Um, this is just like a big fluffy brush, like this is how fluffy I wanted the F80 to be, like it's really big and 
fluffy compared to the F80 it's like a wee bit thinner like if you can see on my forehead again um so yeah I'm excited to use this as well and it's white a white fluffy blending brush which you don't normally get so I'm excited to try that Alrighty, I then got the, this is called Face 108, I guess it's because it's for like, yeah, intensive coverage brush for like concealer and stuff, but I'm just going to use this as like a big kind of eyeshadow brush to like really blend underneath and like pack into the corner and stuff, so I guess you could use it for concealer, but I don't really, I wouldn't cover for a big space because it's like kind of small, mm, yeah, I, I guess so, but yeah I quite like this another brush I got um I didn't I forgot I had so many brushes from BTY in Belfast BTY is a a store in Belfast that you can <coughs> you can get like kind of all American brands that are quite hard to get so she does a girl called Rachel owns it she's a really really lovely girl she does like Morphe um the Balm, Milani, Ben Nye I'm trying to think she does backstage lashes loads and loads of different brands so if you live in Belfast or shop in Belfast definitely pop into Rachel um they're really good prices as well considering they're hard to get over here so I got the Morphe M461 I don't know why I got this brush to be honest I I don't really probably think I'll reach for it that much but I I got it I don't really know why but yeah um, another thing I got from there is this wee Tony Tony Morphe brush. It is the M515. Like, can you actually appreciate like how tiny that is? I just thought it would be good for smudging out black liner under the waterline. Um, just because it is majorly tiny, like it's so small. Oh, my back's so sore. Um, I don't think it's got any more brushes, so that's that for now. Oh yes, I do. I got the I forgot I I bought this. Um I bought the Morphe E2 brush, which is this like big powder brush. Like it's from the Lip Collection. Look how nice that is. It, it'd be even mm, I was gonna say it'd be nice to bronze with because it's kind of like that shape, but maybe not, maybe just a set um with powder. I love all the the Morphe Lip Collection brushes, so I'm excited to use this. I think I'm gonna get some more for Christmas as well. Um I got it off Beauty Bay. I also got the Soeva Contour um, Palette. I got this in Selfridges again. Um, it's got the same sort of um, texture that gets dirty really easy. Like look how dirty the box is. So I dread to think what way the palette's gonna get. But I really like the colors in this. I haven't used it yet. I swatched it but haven't used it. Um, they're not quite as light as what it's showing on camera. Um, but yeah, I think it'll be nice. A satin powder, like a proper highlighter, which is really stunning. Like, really, really stunning. And two different contour shades. So I think it'll be good. It's like kind of a good palette that if you were going somewhere, you've got your satin powder, you've got your highlight, and you've got your contour. So I think it's a good palette to have. Um, this other Kiko product, I got the Blush Coco Shock, which was like, I think it was a collection they had going or something. Um, it's like a wee blush duo, really cute packaging because it looks like chocolate and it smells like chocolate. Um, I think these are really nice colours again, not really showing up true to colour. They're quite pigmented and they smell like chocolate, kind of like the chocolate bar palettes. Yeah, they smell really good. So again, probably didn't need it, but just another impulse buy, like the story of my entire life. Um, Next I got the Milani Illuminating Face Powder, which is like all wee mini roses. It's really, really cute. Um, I got it in 03. I don't know why I got this. I, I think I typed in the Beauty Bay highlighters and this came up. And this is definitely not a highlighter, like, unless you want pink highlighter, like Jeffree Star's pink highlighter. But, yeah, it could be nice as like a nice kind of flush blush or something. Um... I thought I would give it a go anyway. Next I got the highlighter from Topshop in Sun Warrior. This is stunning. You've probably seen this in my London vlog if you've watched it. Um, let me show you. I'm going to get like a real intense swatch so you can see it really good. Can you? Oh, there we go. That is stunning. 
the packaging's really cute too. It's like gold with a see-through lid. Really, really nice. And it's like, although it's powder, it kind of feels like a wee bit creamy, which I quite like in a um, highlighter because it means it's really, really pigmented. Um, so I thought I would try that. I have been using it actually and I really like it. I then got the NYX Laundry um, Liquid Lipstick, I think you call it, in the shade Beauty Mark. Now, I haven't looked at this since I got back from London, but I'm actually not impressed by looking at the tube now. It's kind of all cracked. Like, it looks like it's gone all dry. I don't know if you can see that, but... It's like really, really dry looking in the tube. Like it's all kind of gone cracked. And I mean, they weren't expensive, but they weren't extremely cheap either. Um, so if these are cracking like this in the tube, what are they going to crack up, crack like on your lips? Now I did, when these first kind of became the hype and everybody was doing full reviews of every single colour that they bought, blah, blah, blah. I did kind of think that they looked a wee bit dry on people's lips. Um... Which was why I never jumped on the hype and ordered one straight away. But now looking at it in the tube, like if that if that dries that quickly in the tube, imagine what it's gonna do to your lips. It's gonna be like chalk. It's gonna look awful. So I haven't tried it, but I will keep you updated on that, like say on my Snapchat or something, if I put it on my Snapchat. When I finally use it, I will put it on. So keep an eye out for that. I then got oh I love I love these. I've been using one these. Um this is the Kiko um pencil lip gloss now it is definitely not lip gloss it comes out matte it's like a chubby stick Um, these were like two pound or something this is in the shade 11 and i also got shade 9 i think shade 9 is in my handbag somewhere but i got these i really really like them they're just good to touch up and they feel comfortable on your lips i another kiko product that i absolutely love i can rave about so much is their lip liners and um, this is a smart lip pencil, which means it's cheap as well. It's in their cheap collection in the shade 712. It's kind of like sore by MAC. In fact, very, very close dupe. But it was like £2.19 or something. Um, really creamy. Goes on really, really nice. Um, yeah, I just really like them. So really recommend that. Right, this um product I hate. And I can say I literally only kept it to do this haul. It is absolutely sh Who could even use it? I don't know. It's the Kiko Definition Waterproof Eyeliner. It is like gloopy. It's like... It's like glue. Like, I don't know if you can can see that. It like... is literally like glue. It's like sticky. That's exactly what it is. It's sticky. It's awful. Absolutely awful. I tried to use it the other day and it it was so hard to use. It It's not nice. It is not nice at all. And I... For it saying it's waterproof, it didn't really last that long on me and it kind of turned navy as well. So this is crap and I don't recommend it to anybody. And the girls who work in Kiko told me it was amazing, it was their holy grail and all. Absolute rubbish because nobody could like this eyeliner no matter how much you you work with makeup. It is crap, you can't use it, it's rubbish. Um, so they were obviously just told to say that they love all the Kiko products but believe me it's absolutely rubbish. Next is another Kiko product. I kind of went a wee bit mad when Kiko the first day I came to Belfast. So, um, yeah, I have quite, quite a lot of Kiko stuff. It's not sponsored or anything. Like, believe me, it's not sponsored. I just told you how crap an eyeliner was. Like, not paid to say this. Um, oh, I got this free because it was, like, the first day, this colour. Um, it was the first day Kiko opened. And, like, the first 200 through the door or something got a free gift bag. But I was, like, 250 through the door and I still got a gift bag. Um, so yeah, it's a blue eyeshadow. It's free because it's blue. Like, they didn't give out the nice colours because they're free. But, I mean, it's okay. I probably won't really use it, but I, I got it for free, so I can't complain. And the water shadow, I think they're called. Yeah, water eyeshadows. They're lovely. Like, they're really nice. So, I'm happy enough that I got it for free, but I probably wouldn't buy it because of the colour. Oh, this is another Kiko water eyeshadow. This was the colour that I bought because it is stunning although these are so hard to open like oh nearly just yeah nearly just broke that because it was so hard to open because it got my nails done so the really really long game i got this not as an eyeshadow but as a highlighter this is the two weight by kiko um their water <sighs> like look at that um find another space in this arm oh 
like that one there how stunning is that that would be such a pretty highlighter like my whole hands glowing now um again these weren't dear so this is a highlighter like although it's kind of small oh no you can use it okay so yeah i think that would be a really nice highlight um next i got the cream crush lasting color eyeshadow in the shade five again i don't really know why i got this because i hate cream eyeshadow i hope this doesn't die because my battery's flashing um yeah i think she kind of talked me into it it's nice and glittery but i probably won't use it because cream eyeshadow creases and if you have to set it with an eyeshadow then why not just use the first eyeshadow in the first place so yeah i got that I then got the Makeup Forever HD um, foundation stick. I have tried this, love it, really like it. Pretty much the end of that. Also got the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in the shade P40. This is good if you've got fake tan on, because I was really stuck in the colours if you were ordering online. So just to know, if you're like fake tan colour, these are perfect. Um, the bottle's smaller than what I thought though. Like it is a really tiny wee bottle but again you need like literally two drops to like make your foundation from like full coverage to like ultra full coverage this is what i'm excited about the most that i got in uh london and i want to know if you want like a, a like a first impression of it because i haven't used it yet the mark jacobs remarkable foundation apparently it's major full coverage and everybody loves it on here so let me know if you want to review because i will do that um because i'm so excited about it I then got the Kathleen Lights Highlighter Palette. I had a bit of a nightmare with this as well. It arrived broken first, so this is the second palette off it. They're absolutely massive and they're nice colours. I haven't used it yet because I was just, to be honest, I was just pissed off about the first broken palette, but I'm excited to use it. I've heard, heard really good, oh, it's your nose. Heard really good reviews about it, so I thought I'll get it anyway. And Kathleen is just lovely, like, so beautiful. Um, and that's everything out of that bag then quickly i'll not show you like majorly everything well but yeah i will um next i got the smashbox photo finish oil free primer love this everybody loves this i then got the inglot hd perfect cover up foundation gorgeous when you first put it on absolutely stunning um nice color when you're fake tan and stuff but i do not have big pores and this foundation made my pores massive like I went to work with this on and I was working with Lee in um, the salon doing makeups. I kept on saying to Lee, I was like, Lee, my pores look massive. I can't deal with this, blah, blah, blah. So really, really nice, like when it first goes on, but it does make your pores look big throughout the day. Maybe I should try it with a pore minimizing primer and it might work. I might give that a go. Inglot brush cleaner, absolutely crap. Does not clean your brushes at all. Not fast on it, wouldn't recommend it and definitely not getting it again. Soft ochre paint pot because I needed a new one. Um, MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC37. Wanted that for when I was fake tanning and then I kind of thought I hate MAC foundation so I don't really know why I got that but I probably will use it for like a night out because it lasts okay if you put it on like really late on but I just don't think it lasts and it makes me oily as well. A powder refill pan in Harmony. This is the perfect contour shade for everybody. Like I love this so much. And I wanted it for my blusher palette. My MAC blusher palette. So I thought I would add that. Three lipsticks. Two Essence ones and one Catrice. Um, they're all nudes. The Essence one is in 03, 06. So again that one's like a topier nude. And this one is like a more brave nude by mac um i really like essence lipsticks i actually got them in dublin um the catrice one is in the shade 20 it's more like a velvetetti nude kind of nude that has got on now but a wee bit darker really like it again um and it's got a highlighter from them that i'm going to show you and it's stunning the mac um liquid lipstick in lady be good now everybody raved about this and that's why i was dying to get it it's far too light for me like I like a darker nude obviously and it just doesn't suit but it looks so so lovely in some people uh blankety amplified by mac there's an amplified finish by mac again everybody loves it wee bit light for me but good it'll be good for my kit Um, I got the skin finish in medium deep apparently this is a lovely bronzer but I, I don't know I kind of feel like I should have got my what do you call that sun 
something sun by Mac. What do you call that? It's a bronzer. The bronzer by Mac was the word sun on it. I can't remember. Oh, my highlights be popping. This is my highlight today. It's the Jeffree Star um skin finish or skin frost in King Tut. Just in case you were wondering. And the last three items of a very big haul um is the Catr oh I forgot about this the Catrice bronzer. Um it's a sun glow in shade 20 deep bronze. This highlighter is beautiful. It's actually kind of similar to the top shop one but this is a wee bit more pinky side so for more your paler girl but again so majorly cheap and so so pigmented um really really like that actually and then this essence all about matte um it's just a complete white translucent uh mattifying powder like completely white as anything kind of got it because because it said matte on it um because that kind of like brings me in because I have oily skin on my oily skin girls you know this anything with the word matte in it it's like put it on my face like need more of it so yeah I have made a complete mess but I think I got this done in a decent time considering the amount of stuff so yeah if you like that this kind of quick haul sort of thing that's like being built up over a really wide please let me know because I will do more of them if I collect more stuff um, also let me know if you want to see, well I'm going to be doing it anyway so whether you just want to see it or not I'm going to be doing it anyway. The Cat Von D, um, Phil Face First Impressions and also let me know if you want to see if I can find it, The if you want to see a first review on the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation because I haven't used it yet and I've been dying to use it but I've been holding it off to try to do this video so please please let me know and yeah. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so, so much. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.